It was a cold, windy night when Emily realized she had forgotten her notebook in the campus library. She needed it for her paper due the next day. As a student assistant at the library, she had her own key, a privilege few others had. With a sigh, she grabbed her coat and keys and headed out into the night. The streets were empty. The only sound was the howling wind. The campus was eerily quiet when she arrived. She unlocked the heavy library doors, which creaked loudly in the silence. The inside was dimly lit, with only a few lamps casting long shadows on the walls. The head librarian had left hours ago, trusting Emily to lock up after her late shifts. It was strange. Emily had never seen the library so deserted. Emily walked slowly, her footsteps echoing in the vast, empty space. The familiar rows of books now felt more like walls closing in on her. She shivered and quickened her pace, eager to grab her notebook and leave. Her notebook was on a table near the back, where she had left it. As she reached for it, she noticed something strange. A book was lying open on the floor. Emily bent down to pick it up. The book was old, its pages yellowed with age. But what caught her attention was the title, The Forgotten Archives. Curiosity got the better of her, and she flipped through the pages. The words were written in a language she didn't understand. But the more she looked, the more the letters seemed to shift, as if they were trying to form words she could read. Suddenly, she heard a faint whisper behind her. Emily froze. The library was supposed to be empty. She slowly turned around, but there was no one there. The whisper came again, clearer this time. It was calling her name. Her heart pounded in her chest as she tried to convince herself it was just her imagination. But the whisper grew louder, closer. It seemed to come from all around her, echoing off the walls. Emily backed away, clutching the old book to her chest. Her breath came in quick, shallow gasps. The whispering was relentless. Her name repeated over and over, like a chant. It felt as if the library itself was alive, its walls closing in, the shadows lengthening and darkening around her. Emily knew she needed to leave. She turned to run, but something caught her eye, a figure at the end of the aisle. It was tall and cloaked in darkness, its features hidden. The figure didn't move, but Emily could feel its gaze piercing through her. Her legs felt like lead as she tried to step back. The figure remained still, yet the whispering grew louder, almost deafening now. Emily's vision blurred, fear gripping her tighter than ever before. She stumbled, dropping the book. As it hit the floor, the whisper stopped, leaving a suffocating silence in their wake. She didn't dare take her eyes off the figure, but she couldn't stand still any longer. Emily bolted down the aisle, her shoes slapping against the floor. She raced past row after row of books, her heart racing faster than her legs could carry her. But no matter how far she ran, the library seemed endless. The figure appeared again, this time closer, its dark presence looming. Emily's breath hitched as she realized there was no escaping it. Finally, she reached the front desk, the heavy doors in sight. She grabbed the handle and yanked it open, expecting the cold night air to rush in. But instead, she was met with darkness, nothing but a void beyond the door. Emily gasped, stepping back. But the figure was behind her now, too close. She could feel its presence, the air thick with an unnatural chill. The whispers started again, but this time they were different. They were coming from the book she had dropped, except it wasn't on the floor where she left it. The book was now lying open near the exit door, pages fluttering wildly as if caught in a windstorm. Emily's mind raced. Had the figure moved it? or had it transported itself. The thought made her skin crawl. Desperate, Emily turned back to the book. It lay open on the floor, glowing faintly. She hesitated, then picked it up, her hands trembling. The letters on the pages had rearranged themselves, forming a single chilling sentence. It's not over. Suddenly, the whispering stopped, and the library was silent once more. The figure was gone. Emily stood there, heart pounding, her mind reeling. She glanced around, but everything seemed normal now. But as she looked down at the book in her hands, she realized the words on the page had vanished. The book was now completely blank. Slowly, she closed it and placed it back on the shelf. With shaky hands, she grabbed her notebook and made her way to the door, half expecting the whispers to start again. But they didn't. Emily pushed open the door and stepped out into the cold night, feeling the wind whip against her face. She took a deep breath, trying to calm her nerves. 
As she walked away from the library, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. She glanced back at the building, its windows dark and ominous. For a moment, she thought she saw a shadow move inside. She quickly looked away and hurried back to her dorm, telling herself it was all just her imagination. But deep down, she couldn't help but wonder, what if it wasn't? And what had she unleashed by opening that book? Emily didn't know, but one thing was certain. She would never set foot in that library again after dark. At least, she hoped she wouldn't have to.